another video so today I'm going to be creating this slay your way through Christmas and New Year's that's what I'm going to call it um, sorry if there's so much noise my house is alive honestly it is I feel like this is a perfect look for Christmas for like a Christmas dinner or New Year's it's got glitter and it's just it's just all glam so yeah I'm just going to talk you through um, this video I'm doing a bit of a chit chat I haven't done one in ages, I've been mostly doing voiceovers lately, but I really hope you guys will enjoy this video, um, I had tons of fun doing it, I, I really miss doing like glam, glam looks, um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and we'll jump straight into it. Alright guys, so, I'm barefaced, my hair's not done yet, and it is 5 o'clock, this is video is probably going to go up quite late today. So the first thing that I really need to do urgently is fix my hairs on my face. I feel like you saw every pore and dot and spot and hole on my face um but you know what i'm actually okay with that i don't care like it's really hard i feel like i'm gonna get straight into this i just feel like it's really hard to feel like all these people on youtube and instagram have like perfect skin and like they're just perfect like they sometimes i'm just like my skin's not like that guys my skin you guys say that my skin's good but it looks clearer but i do have Texture, texture is my main issue at the moment, and I get, I'm starting to get pores. So, yeah, that's my issue, guys. Just taking off any hair. I can definitely say like it's much less than before. I have this thing here. I don't know what the hell that is. Can you see it? It smells like something's burning. The heating's on behind me and I'm like boiling my butt off. Okay, so my face is finally shaved and I actually really like to do this because it exfoliates, gets rid of the hairs. I'm doing laser so I can't really wax. Yeah, and it just feels really soft. I do have a video on shaving my face if you guys want to watch that video. But it seems to work for me. And it's quick, convenient, and easy. I need to wash my brushes because it's been giving me breakouts. Like, even my sponges. I just don't have the time, guys, to wash all these brushes. Does, do any of you want to come over and wash my brushes for me? Because I need some help. My sister don't want to do it for me. She's lazy. First thing I'm going to do is apply some moisturiser. I'm using my Glam Glow moisturiser. This is Sun Glow. I've got these stick-on nails. Basically, last night, I did my nails. You see how it gives like a little tan to your skin? Anyways, I did my nails last night. I kept them on for five minutes and they were all messed up, so I took it off right after so I was a bit that really really annoyed me so I spent time on my nails and then I had to take them out take it off because it was all smudged and everything um I'm just thinking what I have to do oh yeah so I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer this my I broke my Fenty Beauty Primer it dropped but you can actually twist it I'm really sorry if there's a lot of noise in my house Linda so next I'm going to use this LA Girl um, Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil and this is in I think Blackest Brown. I don't know how I feel about this design but I think it suits the festive season so. I wanted to wear a Christmas jumper for this video but it's just too hot in my house. This eyebrow is so much harder to do it. 
I'm going to leave it like that and then I'm going to take my trusty old NYX Gotcha Card Concealer to carve my brows out. This is in the shade Golden. Damn. You just talk. Whenever like I shave my face, my makeup goes on ten times better. I'm gonna leave it like that. Oh my god, look at those eyebrows. Okay, next I'm gonna use this 24 hour brow setter by Benefit, and this stuff is so so good. It's like literally gel for your eyebrows, but without making it look crusty and all disgusting, and it doesn't give white residue. Um, I really, 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 really like this stuff. So good. I really, really want to get gimme brows, well, the tinted ones. I just feel like Benefit brow products are so good. I do have the Precisely Brow Pencil, but I thought, let me just use the LA Girl one today. So this is the LA Girl Pro Eyeshadow Primer. This is in the shade Nude. And I've actually been really liking this stuff for my eyeshadow. And I just grab like a brush and just really like blend it. It just creates a nice clean canvas for my eyeshadow to go on to. Today I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I'm going to create like a nice smoky glittery, glittery eye look I would say. But first of all I'm just going to use my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just set that in place because it's not like a matte eyeshadow that I can set my eyeshadow with. I'm going to use this shade right here first. And we're going to keep it right in the outer corner. Just smudge it out. A clean brush to blend out the edges. I'm now going to take this brown right here. It's like a nice warm fudgy brown. And this, I'm going to pack it on. On the outer corner to really like deep in that area I really want to create like a shh, shh. I really want the colour to be intense don't be scared to place your eyeshadow because as long as you've got your clean brush get some paper kitchen towel and just keep blending at it and it will, you'll see like it just moves accordingly but obviously you need the right shadows and this Jaclyn Hill palette is really really good now I really want to take a bit of the black so this black eyeshadow here and I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it like that. You definitely need patience with black eyeshadow. That's what I have to say. Even I struggle, but it's okay, just keep blending. And if you've messed up, just start again. Next up, I think I'm gonna put a bit of, of this pale eyeshadow all over. I know it looks really, really pale, but I'm gonna be putting glitter on that section anyways. And I'm first gonna use this Glam Glow setting spray and I'm gonna spritz that shade. Because I want it to be like really pale so that the glitter stands out. And this is also going to help me map out where I'm placing the glitter. So next I'm going to be using this glitter from Certify. They come in these little cute bottles like this. And I'm going to be using it with my Revlon Lash Glue. Um, I bought this from their pop-up shop um, near Carnaby Street I believe. Um, but they have it, all their details on their Instagram page, I'll link it in the info box. It was only £5 as well, I believe. I bought it for £5. But yeah, I'm going to put lash glue. I don't have glitter glue. You can get a good one apparently from NYX, which I need to get myself. But I keep putting it off, so I'm just going to use lash glue for today. I 
How long has it been since I put glitter on my eyes? This is what the glitter looks like. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I'm going to be using the Balm Cosmetics Eyeliner. This one's called the Schwing Black Liquid Eyeliner. See, I definitely need to wipe that off. For mascara today, I'm going to be using the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Okay, so now for lashes, I'm going to be using these Huda Beauty lashes in Sasha. Um, and I'm just going to pop these on with the Huda Beauty Lash Glue. And apparently this is black, it's my first time using this. I recently received a PR package from Huda Beauty. Um, honestly guys, like I feel like I've made it. I've made it, you know. I can be like, mum, I've made it. But anyways, I'm, I'm just joking. But honestly, like it was, to me, that's a huge achievement. I've never really used black eyelash glue. I was on, I was actually on my way to uni when I received the email and I was just like honestly like I started crying on the train I was just like oh my god like I can't believe this I couldn't believe it so you guys know I'm a huge fan of Huda, Huda Beauty products and I'm always buying them so yeah I just can't believe it and it's all because of you guys like if you weren't here watching my videos I wouldn't be here right now so I will always forever be grateful to you guys and just sticking around watching my videos it just means the world to me Okay guys, I'm just going to do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished the eyes. I think it's okay. So yeah, I've stuck on my lashes. I actually really love these eyelashes. Like, they're just perfect for this look. So now I'm going to go onto my eyes. Uh, my eyes, my skin. So I'm going to be using the Iconic London Illuminator. Yeah, and this is just the original one. I'm just going to put it... Just give me that Christmas glow. Oh my god. Okay, so foundation today, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. I'm going to use a brush. So I don't know if you guys have realised, I do like to do my random like videos, like my Marisha ones, language ones, I don't know, I just feel like it's been really difficult like to deal with, I don't know, I just feel like I was going off course with what I usually do and it was just to like keep up with everyone and it's just stupid like I want to do videos that I like to do but then also that you guys won't get bored from watching so that's why I've been just doing just my makeup tutorials the thing that I started with and I just feel like everyone's doing all these crazy review videos and they're fun I like to watch them I feel like when I do it, it's just boring. I don't know why I'm doing it, and I don't mind doing it every now and then. But I feel like I got to a point where I was just doing it every, every, every time, and I was drifting away from my makeup tutorials, which I mostly love doing. And I do like to have a mixture of videos on my channel. And I'm not the only one that thinks this. I've seen Koshal talk about it, I've seen Rachel Leary talk about it, I've seen Jackie Aina talk about it, and it's kind of like demotivating, honestly. Like, it's all about. The world's great is this, like the, just the world's ugliest this, and trends and clickbait. And I don't get me wrong, I'm I'm guilty for clickbait every now and then, especially on Instagram. And I do enjoy doing Instagram videos because I watch, I like to watch others as well on Instagram. But I feel like we're lacking this side of getting to know the person, um, and just classic tutorials. You know, you know, slay your face, beat your face. I don't know, that's how I've been feeling lately and this is why I've been doing makeup tutorial after makeup tutorial and I will keep my fun videos, I'll try to do more skip videos but that's how I've been feeling and I was having a chat with Nina and Nina was just like boo, stay true to who you are 
um, because I did, I don't know, she was like, she's straight up with me, like, she tells me when a video's boring, my sister's well, like, she'll tell me, like, what is that? And I'm just gonna keep doing what I like to do, every now and then you'll see these random videos, but makeup tutorials are get ready with me's and things like that are the videos that I started with and the videos that I originally liked doing, and that's the whole reason I started YouTube, because I was watching everyone else do it, and it really inspired me to start my own channel, channel so I don't know why I'm drifting off. I use some of my um, Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Dark Warm. But yeah, as I was saying... I'm just gonna do me. I do love watching all these like world greatest concealer or world famous foundation or most full coverage whatever. I do really like watching these videos. But not necessarily for me. And if you guys do like it, let me know. But I will do some every now and then. But that's not going to be my main focus point. I just want to focus on what I really, really like to do. I want them to make you laugh, make you happy. That's why I love doing my language or skit videos. Because you guys laugh. And some of you say that you have had like a really bad day or whatever. And then you come watch my video and it makes your day. And that honestly means the world to me. So, um... Yeah, I thought, I just don't know, I just, that's how I feel guys, that's how I've been feeling. I feel like I need to sort out my lighting and everything because I feel like I'm appearing washed out in my videos and I don't like that. I'm going to take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder again and I'm just going to set that concealer. I haven't used this powder in forever. See, I'm not appearing true to colour right now on camera and it's pissing me off. Look, I look washed out. Right now I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette in Medium Dark Shift. And I'm going to be using this shade right here. Just slightly contour. This powder is beautiful. It just like diffuses so nicely. You can easily go overboard. How the hell do I not have any battery? I'm gonna use this Balm Springs blusher by the Balm Cosmetics. And it looks like it's like a dusty rose. I'm just gonna hide that on the apples. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Primark Pure Glow palette, and I'm going to be using the dark. I'm going to be using a dark shade right here. I think this palette was like five pounds or something. Five pounds. I don't use the two other colors, but this gold is just stunning. I'm gonna set that in place with my Glam Glow Glow Setter setting spray. For the lips, I've got the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Spice Girl. Believe it or not, like my first ever Huda Beauty purchase was the lip liner and cheerleader. And it's like a red, and I never wear a red lip, but I wanted it so bad. I wanted the Huda Beauty product so bad, I just got the only colour they had in stock, which was Cheerleader, and I rocked it. Honestly, it's so soft, it just glides on. And then for lipstick, I'm going to be using this Nip and Fab Liquid Lipstick, and this is in the shade Cinnamon. Okay, I'm just going to let that dry a bit. It's going to go back onto the eyes, and I'm going to use some of that warm brown that we used. like really deepen up and smoke out this section and I'm just gonna go closer it honestly feels like there's like a piece of glass in my lash line I don't know what that is but it freaking hurts 
I'm also going to take the Primark highlighter palette and I'm going to use the lighter gold and just apply it in this little section here. I really, really want to try and bring that eyeliner like in the corner. Okay, I try my best. I just need to fix this one a bit. What do you guys think? I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight. On the brow bone. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to fix up my hair. And yeah. Right guys, I just quickly curled my hair. Just like rough waves. Um, oh my god, look at, look at the collarbone action. Okay. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more makeup tutorials and more skit videos. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.